Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Illumination View. In our last video, uh, we discussed about Plato's theory of ideas. In this video, we are going to discuss it in a further way with more illustration. So let's start. Well, uh, according to Plato, world of things is different from the world of ideas so what does it mean for example the idea of a table seems all the idea of a table tells you about a realistic table but according to Plato the idea of a table can either coincide with a particular table in reality or not match but idea of the table and the concrete table can exist separately <coughs> so let's view it in a more illustrated way okay uh, let's say think about a particular book what have you thought of well the book that comes into my mind is harry potter what book just come to your mind different right now go to a book that has been in your table it can be the exact book that occurred in your mind or it can be a different one Plato says that the idea of the book is the real thing and the realistic book that is on your table is temporary and not universal then a favorite illustration of the division of the world into the world of ideas and the world of object is the famous platonic myth of the cave in which people see not object and other people but only their shadows on the wall of cave well plato said that so what does it mean so Let's view it in a different way. According to Plato, we always see the shadows of our thoughts in reality. Let's say one guy is covered in mud and he is enjoying below the open sky in rain. Okay, what would you say? You can say that okay you can say two things one he is a fool and another one you can say that he is enjoying his life but what statement would you would be right to know it we have to look at his complete life and happenings of that particular event in a non-biased way then we can see that at the end the people will still be left with two statements one is he is a fool and the another one is he is enjoying his life we always see our shadows in the real world 